Hello there, and thanks for stopping by the Total OS Today Technology Channel. This is Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. Before I begin, a quick shout out to um, Alan Pope from Canonical, of course, the team that makes the Ubuntu desktop, uh, the Linux based operating system. The latest one is 17.10 uh, Artful Aardvark. Uh, this is the beta 2 running this inside a virtual machine. All right, so a couple of things uh, here that was brought to my attention in the comments section of the last video. On the login screen, if you choose uh, Ubuntu on Zorg versus the standard Ubuntu login with the Wayland display, you may find your system will run a little bit faster. Uh, that does appear to be the case. And also, uh, your applications may work, your uh, installed or downloaded applications may work. In my case, I had uh, an issue uh, getting Synaptic, the Synaptic Package Manager to work. I thought maybe it was um, an artifact of the uh, running this in virtual box, but that does not appear to be the case. So choose Zorg on the login screen. You should be okay. And I'll give you an example here. Uh, Synaptic did not work before, but it works perfectly right now. Great. All right, so the other thing that was brought to my attention, uh, let's see, that would be Rhythmbox. Let's go ahead and fire up, uh, touching the um, super key on the keyboard. Go to Rhythmbox. And I did modify this somewhat uh, with extensions. So uh, by default, uh, Rhythmbox does not have the volume control. However, that can be uh, remedied if you go to, uh, if yours does not have the volume control, uh, go to Tools, Plugins, Alternative Toolbar, highlight that, and as you can see, this changes the look of the default rhythm box application. So to bring that back, the volume control, choose Plugins, Alternative Toolbar, turn it off, and you can have your volume control back I notice the menu here uh, goes blank let's see if we can bring that back up go to rhythm box and the library pops up here on the left very good so that solves that issue all right and finally uh, finally the last thing that was brought to my attention if you uh, run the tweak tool to start uh, installing extensions it could uh, crash the system uh, that's a fair enough warning I don't ever have don't recall having that problem of course I've never I don't run this uh, as a full install or as a or as a long-term uh, test but that being said I do like the gnome tweak tool but fair warning it could bork the system so uh, let's see it's uh, gnome tweaks I believe it's called the GNOME Tweak Tool, but it comes up as Tweaks. So if you go to Extensions. Uh, I ex um, yeah, I, I installed a few: the Clock Override, um, Disable Ubuntu Dock, and if you turn that off, you can have your dock back. Something similar to Unity, but not quite. But if you want a cleaner desktop, uh, turn that on. And there you go. So the extensions, it's a nice little tool, but be warned it could bork the system. And I like a clean desktop uh, for the most part. So I just hit the super key and there you go. Go to show all applications here. Uh, let's see, will it work? There we go, okay. All right. Again, if you run this as a full install, it should run uh, considerably smoother, but not too bad in a virtual machine. Uh, one last thing, one last last thing I wanted to mention was that uh, I installed the um, Unity desktop environment uh, just out of curiosity, and you may find that works better for you for whatever reason. Um, I did install it. Um, you know what? I'll, maybe I'll show you that on the next video. But I think I'll leave this one the way it is for now. So thank you for the tips, and uh, I will catch you on the next one. Take care.